Michael, education funding overall, whether it be capital or teacher pay or anything in the middle, is always tricky. And we talked about before the show, that, that, that pie of education funding, there's a lot of folks with sharp knives wanting their piece. Uh, this is a big issue, but there's a lot of different angles to it between calendar and uh, you know, which schools are older and which populations are being affected that way. How do you think this bears out for DPS? Well, I think they need to fix it and make an adjustment here. Um, as a former teacher, I know that kids have a hard time learning if it's 90 degrees in that room. It's hard enough to get them to learn anyway, but when the temperature's like that, uh, it's not happening. But I wanted to see if anybody wanted to bet me that the central office at DPS probably has well, uh, has air conditioning that works pretty well. Um, so I think the kids deserve to, to have this. You know, I uh, worked at a charter school that had some of the lowest funding in the state, and we had air conditioning. We made it a priority uh, to do it. And I think to your point, education funding, people want it in the classroom, and they want it to go to teachers. And here in Colorado, only 54% of the money we spend on education goes to instruction. Next door in Nebraska, it's 65%. So that's a lot of money there that is going to administration, going to our pension fund, uh, you know, healthcare costs are high across the country, but we need to find ways to get this to benefit students and benefit teachers with the money that we currently have.